Hi everyone, I'm back today to do an unboxing. Uh, so what an unboxing is, is um, a new item that comes in a box uh, and I open it on video live with you. So for this one, it is the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Club Box. So this box comes every two months. Um, it is not a mystery box, so I do know some of what's in here. While I do prefer picking my patterns, um, I do really like still a surprise. So I signed up because this was a bookish pattern. And so I know what the pattern is, but I didn't actually look at the details of what else is in the box. Uh, so this box can be shipped worldwide from Caterpillar Cross Stitch. They are located in the UK. Um, you can subscribe for one month or you can get a box every other month. Um, this box is just really cute and compact. It's the first time I get a box like this. Um, I actually, no, that's not true. I did subscribe to a Hocus Pocus box um, two years ago when I had first started cross-stitching. Uh, anything Hocus Pocus, you've got me sold on. Um, so this box is going to be my second one from them. Uh, so I will go ahead and open it in front of you. I didn't even take the tape off. So as you can see, it's nicely sealed. It actually comes in a uh, shipping bag as well. Uh, so the box doesn't get damaged uh, in transportation. It's actually not that easy to open. Okay, so there's this little tab here you open to get inside the goodies of the box. So the box is always super nicely packaged with a lot of this thrifty stuff that my daughters love using for crafting. So it says, woohoo, thank you so much for your order and for supporting our small business. So for those of you who don't know Sally at the Caterpillar Cross Stitch, uh, she started off doing this by herself and now she has a whole Caterpillar Cross Stitch team. They help put together the boxes, the advent calendars, things like that. So in here we've got a little star, a little heart, these cute little decorations. I'm sure they have a purpose because they open up. We'll see what it says once I get it. Signed. Oh, look at this cute cookie. So she actually has cookies. Um, all the things are from our local. Uh, so she has the branding for the company behind. So for this cookie, it is from Gardner's Cookies in the UK. Uh, there's actually a little scanning app that you can see uh, for allergen information. Well, this is adorable. Now, I'm allergic to gluten, so I won't be having this. Um, my daughters are thoroughly going to enjoy it, I'm sure, if my husband doesn't eat it before they get home. Um, so this one is super adorable. It says one more chapter. And it's even got the little globe. I love books with little globes on the side. Oh, there's this little book. Oh, that's cute. It's like a little notebook. So this, so the theme for this one was one more chapter, as you can see, all about books. And this is just a little uh, book, just blank book that we can write in and with the Caterpillar cross stitch logo at the back. So this is going to be perfect to put in my purse when I'm getting all these cross stitch ideas for designs or for videos I want to make. I'm going to move all this fluffy stuff beside me. And then get to the beautiful pattern. So it comes in this amazing little package. And in the kit, uh, you can see at the back, it does list everything that comes in the kit. So the kit comes with instructions, uh, DMC colors, Zweigart fabric, a DMC needle, a thread holder, ooh, and a bookmark. Um, my favorite part of the Caterpillar cross stitch patterns for any of them, they're all just full cross stitches. Um, I find that super easy to follow and not messy. Um, I'm not very good with the quarter stitches. It's something I need to practice. Uh, I mean, they're okay, but I really do prefer full cross stitches. I find it so much easier to follow. So in our envelope, check everything out. So you get the pattern on the paper. Now I won't show that. Um, and there's these instructions. So there's the top tips that they have. They show how to do a cross stitch. Um, and then it says, are you ready? Let's get stitching. 
So it gives you instructions on different steps you have to follow before you start stitching. So something like iron your fabric and then fold your fabric to find your middle. Uh, compare your thread colors. So on here, you have the nice thread holder. Uh, so you can leave them on here, you can bobbinate them, you can even hang them off the holes and have it like this if you like the floss drop style. I usually just leave them like this and then once I'm done I roll them on bobbins and keep the rest. There's always, always extra uh, floss uh, when you're doing a caterpillar cross stitch pattern. You have the nice fabric that's already cut to size so no math to do which is great. This one looks to be square so you don't have to worry about orientation. The needle is on the top here. And last but not least, whoops, some little bookmarks. Uh, so this one talks about, oh, Molly's inspiration behind the design. Uh, so Molly Johansson is the designer for this one. Um, she's a new designer to me, so I will definitely be checking her out um, to see what other designs that she has because she's created this lovely pattern that I am obsessed with. Um, anything with books, I definitely want to stitch. I probably have 10 or 20 in my favorites or that I bought from Etsy. Um, so that's essentially what you get in a Caterpillar cross stitch box, um, a monthly box. So it always has a theme and as you can see, um, the little goodie and the, the book or the little treat you get with it also follows the theme of whichever box that you get. Um, so soon they'll be shipping out the Christmas box. So be sure to be on the lookout for that if you're interested in getting a Christmas box. Hope you all have a good day. Come back and check out my other unboxings.